for anyone who hasn't heard uh the olympics that is currently happening there's been men biological men who transition into women uh who have had the opportunity to fight other women biological women in the olympics which i don't think is right i don't see in what world that's correct i even have you know some of my friends who are you know bisexual and gay have also agreed with me that hey this isn't right um so let's see if i can find an article on it this was an olympic fight that both of these people trained very hard for and it ended in 46 seconds because the italian woman was quite literally being plummeled uh by what seems to be a biological male there seems to be a lot of controversy of whether this guy is a female or a male a lot of controversy can i find a different article the algerian boxer their name is Imane Khalif. And also, right, I also saw this. Lin Yu Ting. Uh, let's, can I look? Can, I, can we find Lin Yu Ting? You listen, I think that there's a lot of corruption, but you can't tell me this isn't a guy. Right? Can we, like, all agree, boys? Like, this is a person from Taiwan who absolutely demolished their opponent, uh, who was a biological female. And I mean absolutely demolished. Can we evaluate for a second? I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but this looks like a biological male, right? I don't think that's kind of crazy to say. Boom, here, here was important to note. This is what is important to know. So 2023, just last year, Khalif. So this guy and Lin Yu Ting, this guy. They were both disqualified from their championships in 2023, just last year, from the International Boxing Association because they failed their gender eligibility test. Which means just last year, they failed their gender tests. There is absolutely no way if these people didn't have any shady stuff going on, that they wouldn't have failed. If you're a biological woman, you're not failing that exam. But they failed and all of a sudden this year they passed they could have passed for multiple different reasons absolutely multiple reasons they could have passed this year i have no idea there could have been a bunch of shady business going on but it is important to note that both khalif and elin yu ting failed their gender eligibility exams just last year it means that there's a there's a huge chance that these women who there's a huge chance that these women who have trained for years of their life have put blood, sweat, and tears, nights of, of sweat, nights of body aches. Bro, I work out. So I maybe I don't work out as much as, as they do. These guys are Olympic athletes, right? But I work out and I know what it's like to be tired. I know what it's like to, you know, have to get up in the morning with your body sore. Like... I know what it's like and I can't even begin to imagine to compete in front of your family in front of your country that you're representing and getting pummeled in less than a minute because your opponent is a biological man guys it's not fair I don't care what your stance is whatever whatever you see however you see fit because of the LGBTQ community that's fine but we've had we've got to take off our lgbtq glasses for a second here and realize the absolute unfairness of this guys it's genuinely unfair these women are like we're all about female empowerment correct if we're all about female empowerment then why are we including biological men who want to dress up as a man or as a woman to absolutely pummel biological women that's putting other women down that's not bringing them up biological men are competing in female sports and men all of a sudden are taking over female sports so female sports has been divided from male, male sports already there's already a division in gender because of obvious reasons males are superior when it comes to physical stature strength speed we're just superior in that sort. It's not something to boast about. It's just how we were genetically made, right? So why are males now invading 
female sports and putting them down in their own league. That's not right. In what world is that right? I have no idea what's going on. But now in front of millions for people to see in the Olympics, they're also getting pooped on in their own league. Why? How is this fair? And the reason why I wanted to talk about this was, bro, I'm seeing so many TikToks of absolutely ignorant, biased people from Algeria and Taiwan supporting these men who are beating on other women. How does that even fare? If there was no ring, if there was no cameras, it would genuinely be considered assault. It really would be. I'm not saying that to be funny. Let's cut the crap. It's not fair. It's assault. It's not. There's like, like what are we doing here, folks? This isn't the Looney Tunes show. What are we doing here? If we look here, fellas, let me see if I can pull it up. See if I can pull it up. Let me go to my TikTok. I saved it. I saved it on my TikTok. I saved it on my TikTok. Give me a second here, folks. Give me a second here, folks. Uh, so we go to my profile. We go to my... I favorited them, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go, boys. So... If we go to my TikTok, bada bing, bada boom. This is my TikTok, Simply Steven, same thing as my Twitch and YouTube. Uh, here we go. <sighs> so someone said how it feels to be called man because you're too good, plus a million aura. Infinite aura, she made them cry so proud of her, and I'm pretty sure this was the Algeria flag. The way they started spreading false rumors about her, um, again, look at these comments, the strong women who make man fear, queen, she goaded, I see a woman who can slay in the Olympics, here's the thing, a lot of people on TikTok are not going to take the time to research the way I just have, it takes literally less than five minutes to, honestly, I'm going to post this on TikTok, I'm going to post this on TikTok, we're, we're, we're clipping this, it's going on TikTok, we're clipping this, it's going on YouTube, Bro, guys, everyone, hey TikTok, hey guys, listen, take 10 minutes before being idiots, right? Just take a couple minutes, research on what I just spoke about, and you guys can genuinely easily see what I'm just, what I've just researched. Both the guy, the same person, the same person, this guy that you guys are putting on a pedestal, and Lin Yu Ting, both of these individuals, both of these people failed their gender eligibility exams just last year. Literally just last year, they failed. Why? Because they're men. What? Oh my gosh, they're men. <laughs> I would have never guessed. Look at the footage, fellas. Uh, hey guys, so this is like maybe two days after I I sh talked about this on stream. Uh, it is currently 9.30 p.m. I am exhausted. I've had such a long day. But I did want to talk about something. So I have to specify, number one, I have to clarify. I'm going to put a disclaimer at the start of the video that everything I'm talking about is alle alleged. Because again, I don't want to come off as I know exactly what i'm talking about now i'm a moron so i apologize i'm a moron so sometimes i say things like i know a hundred percent i do think i mentioned a couple times in this video though that i it's a developing situation you know not nothing's really facts at the moment even though i do say this is facts sometimes um i seem pretty confident in what i'm talking about but I need you guys to know, like, it's a developing situation for both, uh, both individuals that are in the Olympics. Uh, I think I saw somewhere, maybe I must have misread, that I think the the president of the Olympics pretty much said that the Albanian girl, not Albanian, Alger, whatever country, right? Whatever country, I forgot the country already. I'm an, I'm an idiot. I'm tired. But one of the girls, uh, the super tall one that beat Italy, um, that she was born a woman, that she never transitioned. I think I, I think I read that somewhere. I could be wrong, 
regardless my stance is still the same because it's not this isn't a closed situation we have seen a bunch of trans women in women sports it's becoming a thing now so i want to be the one who you know i want my opinion to be loud and clear ladies and gentlemen i am a one thousand percent against men bio genetic uh bio i'm a thousand percent against men people who were born as men who then transition into women for them to go into female sports i'm a hundred percent against that men are stronger faster our bodies are just genetically made that way by god so i don't really think it's fair that is my stance i want to let that be known doesn't matter the sport i don't care there's a reason why we have a division between male sports and female sports whatever you're genetically born as is how you will remain in sports even though you look like a woman you tell you know what i'm saying you took estrogen pills if you were biologically born a man you're gonna be in male sports it should be like that no matter what that's my stance um anyways god bless you guys um i do want to you know what i'm saying i usually put a bible verse at the end of this but i'm gonna do a different i'm gonna do a different outro here um we're gonna do a different outro here folks i'm gonna say the verse of the day with my voice here you go listen boys and girls so romans 8 Romans chapter 8 verses 3 to 4 says, But what the law was powerless to do in that, it was weakened by the sinful nature. God did by sending his own son in the likeness of a sinful man to be a sin offering. And so he condemned sin and sinful man in order that the righteous requirements of the law might be fully met in us, who do not live according to the sinful nature, but according to the spirit. Amen. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. God bless you guys. Take care. Be safe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.